So next, we look into uh, chapter 3, typical IPv6 configuration examples. So let's look into basic IPv6 configuration. So we have a few slides here. So the first configuration we need to configure is just IPv6. This is to enable the IPv6 on globally as well as on the interface by using IPv6 enable. So this is on the interface view. Second step here is to enable the link local. So again, we have two steps. Either we configure IPv6 address followed by the manual IPv6 link local, or we can just use the IPv6 address auto link local. So this is a manual and this is the automatic configuration. And then we look into how you can configure the global uh, unique address. So again, we go to the interface IPv6 address, configure manually using the prefix length, or you can configure IPv6 address auto global or using a DHCP. Then we look into configure IPv6 static route. So this is a command IPv6 route static, followed by the destination IPv6 address prefix length, then followed by the uh, next hop address, and optionally we can configure the preference similar to IPv4. Then we look into the display command. So here we have display IPv6 interface, or you can use a keyword called brief for you to see the summary. And if you want to see your neighbor, you can use a command called display IPv6 neighbor. And if you want to uh, configure SLAAC, then you have to go to the interface on the router. You do uh, a command called undo IPv6 NDRA hot. Now the reason is because by default, a Huawei router interface do not send ICMP router advertisement. So this is why we use the undo IPv6 neighbor discovery router advertisement hot. Okay, so we have to cancel this to enable the router advertisement. In this situation, other devices on the link connected to the interface cannot perform the stateless auto configuration. So to perform the slack, you need to manually configure it. So this is the command on how you can configure uh, slack on the interface. Now here we have a topology. Uh, we have R1, R2, R3, and R4. As you can see that this is the IP address we configured 2001 colon colon 1 slash 64, 2001 colon colon 2 slash 64. So this is a point to point. Then on uh, R2 to R3, we are going to use the DHCP v6. And between R2 and R4, we are using a stateless uh, address auto configuration. So these are the configuration step number one. So we are going to connect R1 and R2 through the interface with a static IPv6 address. Now for us to configure, let's look into the detailed configuration. First step is to enable IPv6 globally. So this is a command for you to enable the global uh, IPv6 address. Then we go into the interface and we enable the IPv6 enable on the interface and we use the command called IPv6 address auto link local. So this is a link local address. So we are going to do it on uh, all the router, R1, R2, and R3 to enable the IPv6. Next, we have to configure the static IPv6 global unique uh, address on the related interface on R1 and R2, which is uh, gig100 and gig000 on R1. And for you to do that, uh, first we are going to configure the interface uh, gig000. So we go into the interface view and we configure a manual IP address which corresponding to 2001 colon colon 1 uh, slash 64 in R1 gig000. And then we go into R2. So first we go into the interface view, we configure the uh, manual configuration and IPv6 address. Then we configure uh, the rest of the interface with the corresponding IP address. So this is pretty easy for R1 and R2. We configure all of these using a, a static IP address. Step number two, we are going to configure R2 as a DHCP v6 to assign the global unique address to GE0002 R3. So here we are going to configure the DHCP v6. So this is a stateful configuration and for you to do that first on R2 we are going to enable the DHCP service. We configure a pool using a command called DHCP v6 pool pool1. We are going to use a command called address prefix 2002 uh, colon colon 64. So here we have 2001 and here we are using 2002. So in R3, we are supposed to get 2002 IP address. 
then we are going to configure the DHCP v6 server pool number one on the interface. On the R3, we are going to configure R3 to use a DHCP, uh, go into the interface and we just configure IPv6 address auto DHCP so we can get IP address from R2. Next step, we are going to configure on the uh, R2 and R4. So on R2, we also configure uh, stateless auto configuration between R2 and R4. Here, we are going to enable R2 to enable the router advertisement and configure gig 000 of R4 to automatically configure, perform the slack based on RA message sent by R2. So this is the command for you to achieve that objective. First, we go to R2 on the interface gig 001, which is this interface. We are going to use a command called undo IPv6 and the RA hot. This is for us to enable the RA. And then on the R4, which is this interface, we just simply go to the interface and we use IPv6 address auto global. So here we were able to get the IP address from R2 using a stateless uh, address auto configuration. Finally, we are going to configure the route. And in this case, you can see that I have uh, R3 and R4. So R3 and R4 need to able to ping to R1. So the uh, next hop have to be pointing to the R2. So in this step, we are going to configure the static route to implement mutual access between the device. So this is how you can achieve it. On R4, we are going to configure IPv6 route static 2001 colon colon 64 to the next hop of 2003 colon colon 1 so which is here and we also want to go to IPv6 route static 2002 uh, we also go back into the same gateway so this is a segment that I want to go into then we configure the aggregate route on R1 so R1 have two route coming into uh, us we can actually configure IPv6 route static 2002 colon colon 15 uh, and then the um, next hop is 2001 colon colon 2 as you can see that this is 2002 colon colon 15 which is an aggregate route between uh, r3 and r4 and finally on r3 we also configure a static route so here on r3 we configure ipv6 route static colon colon zero which is the default route and we are pointing to the next of 2002 colon colon one so with that we achieve uh, the fully routable network